Yup. Civil War 3. Another card been dropped. And um, this card got a lot going on right here. I'm not going to hold you. Right? You got a little bit of everything. A couple different ingredients. You got top tier, low tier. Dudes who are coming back. Dudes who ain't never heard of. Speaking of dudes we never heard of, Ease versus Hansel. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Kitchen Clean versus Stumbles, that makes sense to me. Because here it is, you got Stumbles, right? He has the rock. URL is trying to push this brother. So much potential that he got. He's lucky to even be on URL after that situation with Surf, even though I didn't agree, right? Nobody was thinking about Stumbles before that Snake Eyes situation. Boom. He ends up beating Snake Eyes, gets the belt, right? Situation with Surf, that jumps off. Surf is like no fly zone. You can't you can't battle over here, right? Boom, Surf goes to jail. Everything is good with Stumbles. He gets a chance to come back. Last showing wasn't all that great. Stumbles, you really need to win this battle the way I'm looking at it, brother. Because it, it, you lucky to even be on URL, you know? You probably remind them of Kitchen Clean because when people look at Kitchen Clean, they say, yo, he used to have so much potential, but he went and messed it all up. That's, you know, so it's it probably was a no-brainer putting them two together. They probably going to have a, a, a dope conversation. Um, It could be a classic if they both get in their bizag the way they really should. You know what I'm saying? That sounded corny as hell. Um, if they get in their bag the right way, it should be a classic. They possibly could be one of the battles of the night. I'll go even further. If they be on their game 100%, could be the battle of the night. You never know. <clears throat> Chef Trez, none, none. Real simple. Chef Trez is going to try to make an example out of none, none. Smack to that boy. Welcome home, son. Right? So he going to try and get none, none about there. And if I'm none, none, I'm thinking, wait a minute. I've been scratching and clawing to get on these cards. I'm not about to let this fool who been away for a little bit who just got signed again, come back and knock me out of place. You know what I'm saying? So that's probably going to be a dogfight right there. I like Truefoe. When I seen him, when I seen him battle Gotti and get past him, I'm like, I'm going to start paying a little more attention to this brother, right? But he going up against one of the most dangerous pins in the game, O-Red. When he's on his, you know, when he's on his stuff anyway, O-Red, you know, he can be slacking and stuff like that. He was in a tournament, didn't do so good. Depending on how Old Red comes, um, I can never bet on Old Red at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? He's one of them dudes. He got the type of pen that could beat anybody if he's really focused anyway. Twerk. Twerk. Supposedly to make his return for like the second or third time. Something just keeps happening every time they advertise that brother, right? I can't. Jump out the window for twerk. Because I said I got to see him actually put in some twerk before I say, okay, there we go. That's my guy. I've always been a twerk fan, too. But I, I, I kind of like, I just fell back from even getting excited for him when he started dropping the ball. You know, for me, it started back when he lost the surf. He dropped the ball. Then, then the band event, he choked so long, I had to go to the bathroom just to stop watching it. Didn't even have to use the bathroom. It was horrible. It was embarrassing. You ever get that feeling when you feel embarrassed when you see these battle rappers choking? That's how I feel. You know what I mean? Um, and imagine you're real sick. You get bodied by Shine, and your next battle is up against a returning twerk, and you don't know how he's coming. If he's on a hundred, you know, all I can say is real sick. You better just prepare for a crazy ass twerk. You know what I'm saying? Because he just went crazy against Lou Castro. Geechee Gotti versus J Mills. Geechee said he wanted a legend that was trash. That's what he said earlier this year, bro. A couple months ago. And they dug up J Mills. But see, this is the, this is the tricky part. J Mills is in a good position. Because if he loses, he was supposed to lose. But what if he makes it closer than what people are thinking? See, Gotti's win record isn't really all that great to begin with. He underestimated Mogul of what happened. Would a loss from J Mills really hurt Gotti? Some might say no because he's probably going to still keep getting that same money. Whatever the case, I think it would make him look crazy, though. Geechee Gotti losing to Jay Mills. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but if that was to happen, how could you not say, yo, that looked crazy as hell, bro? So, Gotti, if I was you, happy event or not, whatever the case, 
you really need to body J Mills, bro. I think you know that though. Rock, Tay Rock versus Kid Slade, yo. They said that this boy had a roadblock coming up and they wasn't lying. It seemed like it's a little bit too soon for him to face Rock, but I can't really complain. It's not like I'm going to be in the building anyway, you know? Um, respect to Rock because he out here, he wanting all the smoke. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to respect that about him. Um, I feel like Kid Slade does have what it takes to beat Rock. You know what I'm saying? He riding high after that battle versus Stumbles. That That's going to be a good one right there. I would not mind seeing that at all, bro. And that tells you that they really do mess with Slade because they're handing him rock. And so, you know, it seemed, it seemed like it's still early in his career to me. I know he's been battling for a little minute, but it, I never thought that rock would be his next opponent. I was thinking T-Top or something like that. But that shows you they mess with Slade. So it seemed like he got the rock right now, too. But leave your own comments, perspectives, you know, who you think is going to win. Do you think seven battles is too much? Do you mess with the card? You know what I'm saying? Real this one, man. Hit that like. Support the platform. I'm gone.